everyone, welcome to Grace Jury Farm Poetry Academy. Well, like we promised, the practical will be starting today with 150 beds. And we're going to be using new hope feed for this batch. And we promise that we're going to show you the drugs we are, going, we are using for this batch. And this is Gumbo Endi. Gumbo Endi is one drug that we don't take like in the farm. Gumbo Endi serves as, you know, a purifier. You think your water is clean. But then your water might not really be as clean as you think. And Gobo Endly helps in, you know, preventing an early occurrence of Goboro and Newcastle disease in your farm. So please brood with Gobo Endly. There's This is Vitranol Force. That's the vitamin we're going to be using. This is another very good vitamin. Gobo Endly is 100, they tell you 100 mil to 100 liters. That's 1 mil to 1 liter. This Vitranol Force is 150, um, <clears throat> 150 gram to 300 liter. So you see, the, the dosage of your drugs are very important. They are musical. Amosico is the antibiotics that for a while now we've been using and it's been serving the purpose. The reason why you use Amosico, you see some of you, at two weeks, you see your bed is dropping dead with white, white poop and all that. But when you use Amosico to brood, you eradicate all that. You eradicate all that nonsense. So you see, Amosico, it's one good drug that you should use for brooding. And then that's glucose, you know. You have to give your beds glucose the first day they arrived. So we only use good clothes for the first day. From the second day, it's just gumbo ND, a musical, and um, you know, the vitamin. Very important. And the dosage is also very, very, very important. So as you can see on your screen, these are the drugs we are using for brooding. But from the second day, we don't add glucose anymore. For, but if you know your distance from the artery is very far, you can decide to give your best glucose first before you do the other mixture if, for, because of transportation stress. But for us, we don't do that. We just add the glucose with the medication when the best arrive. And I've always talked about this electronic key. It helps you. If you know why I like this key more than the bigger ones that we have, this key gives you any unit that you are looking for. It gives you any unit, one gram, two gram, three gram. So, and it's less than 5,000, at most 5,000. So it's, it's, it's a must that all farmers should go and get this key. You can get it in any cake shop and it uses a battery. Yes, this key uses a battery. You can just easily remove the battery when you are done. So make sure that you get this key. And then in this video, we'll also be telling you how to set it. It's very easy. You can just put the on and off button and that is it. You just have to... Place, you can place a paper on top of the scale that you want. You can place a paper on top of the scale and use it in measuring your drugs. Like you can see, the scale is already reading zero. If the scale reads another number, you can press the last button, which is the tire, the last button, and it will go back to zero. So like I said, the drugs we are using, Gobo ND, the vitamin is Vitranol Fort, and then the antibiotics we are using is Amosico. Amosico eradicates white droppings in your beds because most of most farmers, the, the, the disease they cry out for that keep their beds at younger age is white droppings. And like we said, stop miss, you, using any rubber to just miss drug. Make sure the right dosage of drug is very, very important to getting the best result. This is a 5 liter bucket. You see this transparent bucket? It's not expensive and it has numbers in it. And this one is 5 liters. So because it's 150 beds, we'll be starting with, uh, you know, we'll mix with 3 liters of water and see if they can finish the 3 liters of water before you know evening so we're going to be using three liters of water for this um the purpose of this experiment and this is a five liter inside the bucket they have numbers one two three four five and those are the drinkers we are going to be using so it's best you have a bucket that has numbers so you know the dosage when you meet when you you don't measure with your ski you just dissolve inside your bucket and you you know measure the water to the liter that you want rather than just assume me and say oh i put it inside this uh, white um, rubber this drinker you're seeing is not really four liters that white um drinker it's not really four liters like that you could just say it's four liter but it's not really four liter if you measure it well it's not four liter so it is best and you see this cup we always have this cup everywhere in the farm because no i told you when you buy central that cost drug you will have this measuring cup you definitely have this measuring cup you see one side have 5 10 15 20 mil the other side 2.5 7.5 12.5 you know 70.5 mil so it's easy for you to measure liquid drugs if you don't have it you can get syringe from your poultry drug shop you see this the syringe is 20 mil so it is easy for you to still you know just extract the liquid with the syringe there's another syringe that is 10 mil so you can use different size of syringe 
for your liquid drug and we also have another one that is there i think it's 2.5 or so we'll show it it's uh, okay yeah it's you know two mil this is two mil so if you know you you, you don't you can't get that call but maybe central dicos is not in your vicinity you can decide to use syringe for your drug for your liquid drug you can use syringe too and still get the right result now we're going to you know show you how to miss this drug like i'm trying to show you here the numbers in the uh, in the rubber but it's not really showing but when you get the transparent rubber they have you know they have numbers the liters one liter two liter three liter four liter five liter this is a five liter if you're if you're better if your if farm is bigger you can use a big a big drum that black drum this point i went to wash my hands make sure you always wash your hands very important very very important make sure you wash your hands this is a bit um some things were a bit dusty around me so i just felt my hands moist and i had to go wash my hands now we want to measure the drug we want to start measuring the drug this is the water we're going to be using we want to start measuring the drug you can get a clean paper you can get a clean paper and just put it on top of this key yes it's not advisable to just pour it on top of the scale like that no you can get a paper and put it on top of your scale like me i went to get a paper right here to put on top of the scale so you put this a paper on top of the scale and then you just be putting the drugs on top of it uh, on it and you know see how it goes at this point i was trying to you know um <clears throat> measure the drug and i found that that the scale is um this key the battery is weak so it wasn't reading this key battery was weak it was not reading so i had to go back to you know put a new battery this is me putting the the key on just watch this was me putting the key on trying to like measure the drug the first drug i was trying to measure was amosico amosico tells you is um the 100 gram to 150 liter and then we have a video on our youtube page which says how to measure your drug with or without this key do you understand? Most of us say 10 grams to um, 150 liters. I'm sorry, 100 grams to 150 liters. That is 10 grams to 15 liter and 1 gram to 1.5 liter. So for me, that is using 3 liter, 2 gram. I use 2 gram to 3 liters. Do you get how I calculated it? If you don't get it, you can still, if you want us to break it down more, you can put it in the comment section. At this point, this is what I was telling you, that the scale was not reading. I guess the battery was weak. So I had to go get a new a, <clears throat> a battery and change it. So Amosiko said 100 gram to 150 liter. So it is 10 gram to 15 liter and 1 gram to 1.5 liters. So because I was using theory, um, I wanted to use um. Uh, three liters so it will be two gram to three liters yes if one gram is to 1.5 two gram will be to three liter so this is my two gram and that's why i told you that i love this key yes i love this key this key is very easy to use it gives you unit your other bigger scale might not it might be giving you unit from five gram and above but this one can give you your single unit one unit two unit three units if your scale is reading numbers when it's, when you want to weigh you can easily press the tie button, the T-A-R-E button, and it will go back to zero. This is me pouring it inside the bucket already. So you can see me, I just reset it, reset it to zero. Now I'm going to try and miss my vitamin. I'm going to try and measure the vitamin. Um, sorry, okay. We're trying to measure the glucose here. For the glucose, we use 6 grams for our glucose. You can The glucose set for each liter, use... Um, add one gram so that's like one gram to one liter so for the three gram you can use three liter but we decide to you know up um to double the dose glucose does not really have a side effect so we decide to use six gram for this um three liter so that's was measuring six gram are you seeing this key is very efficient in what we are doing it's easy not you going to carry a spoon and trying to say oh use one teaspoon you might not be getting the right the right dosage now i want to measure vitamin I you see vitamin, this by Channel 4 said, uh, for prevention, use um, 100 gram for 600 liter. And for treatment, use 100 gram for 300 liter. Yeah, people will say they want to go for prevention. But every drug that we use in the farm, be it vitamin, be it we are just trying to do preventive dose of medication, we always use the, pre the treatment dose rather than the prevention dose yes that is what we do we use the treatment dose so for this one that says on um this 150 gram into um 300 liters so it will be we're supposed to be getting um 150 gram into 
300 liters. That's 15 gram into 30 liters. Are you getting it now? 50 gram into 30 liters. At this point, what we wanted was just 2 gram. What we wanted was just 2 gram to do whatever we were doing. And then that was, we were able to get it and we just put it inside our bucket. But if you don't un still understand how we break down these our drugs, you can get it from our YouTube video. How to measure your drug with or without a scale is on our YouTube video. How to measure your drug with or without a scale is on our YouTube video. Because we wanted 2 gram, we've gotten our 2 gram. The scale is just efficient. We've gotten our 2 gram and we added it to, you know, the mixture of drugs. We added it to the mixture of drugs. And now we want to add the liquid drug to it so that we can easily dissolve everything on it. So just keep watching. Don't forget the drugs that we used. Combo ND, Vichanol Fort Vitamin. We actually had a glucose for the first day. And also we used Amosicor. Amosicor is a very good antibiotic for your brooding. It helps eradicate polyurium disease early in your flock. Yes, Amosicor helps um, eradicate polyurium disease. See that white droppings that is always killing your base from day 7, day 14 and all that. Abosico helps to eradicate that early. So now we want to add the liquid um, drug to this. You shake, always shake your drug. Shake it, shake it because sometimes this drug, mostly calcium, the calcium drug, a liquid drug, they always go to the down. They have residues at the down of the drug. So it is best that you always shake your drug shake your drug very well the liquid drug always shake it and then this is it we've already measured our um because we are doing three three liters abosico is 100 gram to 100 liter that's one gram to one liter so for the three gram we were doing we did three gram uh three three liter um three uh, meal sorry three meal to three liter and this is me meal trying to dissolve the drug it is best you dissolve it first with a little water miss it thoroughly make sure the drug is dissolved make sure the drug is well dissolved not that uh, there are lobs under make sure the way the drug is well dissolved dissolved well like there is no particles inside before you add the remaining water are you seeing it i make sure that i'm making sure that there is no lump under the water so then you cannot add your water to it to the liter that you want like we said we, we want three liter we want three liter so i'm just pouring to the three liter mark are you seeing it that is three liter and in this uh, video we're going to be sharing it into our four drinkers i'm going to share like we said in the video we're going to be using four drinkers for this 150 beds so we we'll share it into these four drinkers so don't forget to like share and always comment your questions on our videos. Like we said, we're going to be giving giveaway. And um, for every of our videos. And you win something. It could be recharge card. It could be cash gift. It could be a drug that we'll send to your location. Yes, if your location is not so far, we can send you a poetry drug that you want. Or maybe a drug that we are using that is not in your vicinity. We will share. But don't forget to help us share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be part of this giveaway. So the first question, we're going to be dropping it on the comment section. So if you have your answer, you just comment on the comment section. The first person that gets it right would be sent um, a recharge card of 2,000 Naira. If you want it as a recharge card, you let us know. If you want it as a cash gift, you let us know. But the question will be posted on the comment section so please do where to like and share our videos you might just be happy the farmer out there